Quick tutorial right here. Um, I'm trying to make a staggered loading effect of text and a button on a hero row. And so it's gonna be the first line, second line, and then third line that show up, like they fade in. And doing this takes like a lot of tedious clicks, but I'm gonna show you how to streamline the process. Okay, here we go. So first, um, here's what it looks like right now. Um, I added a, a dark background color because it goes more up my brand. And uh, you won't see it here because I have that background scroll interaction, but you can, you know, imagine what it says. Okay, it says all this stuff and it has a button. All right, so here's the tutorial. Let's do this. So I'm going to add a page load trigger, page load. All right, and this is when the page finishes loading. I'm going to call this page load. You can call it whatever you want. Pager. Who has a pager? All right. So now let's go ahead and start animating these three things, okay? So first thing you're gonna do is we're going to set the move. I wanna push it down by 30 pixels. This is what the, when the page first loads, this is the initial state, okay? And um, when I go to style, uh, I'm gonna set opacity to zero. So this is when the page first loads, you're not gonna see it and it's pushed down by 30 pixels. All right, and now instead of like clicking end and then doing opacity 100 and then clicking this and doing move to zero pixels, that's like four clicks. But here, pro tip, I'm going to delete those two. I'm going to hold shift or command and press, press this uh, so you have multiple selections inside of interactions. Right click it, duplicate. Boom, there we go. So now all I have to do is move zero opacity 100, okay? So I, I've saved myself a couple of clicks. Let's go to the next row right here. I'm going to move and set it to 30, and then I'm going to opacity, set it to zero. I'm setting these inside of the initial state. I'm gonna hold command to select both, right click, duplicate, and then drag it on top of the other um, other animation and then do it again. We'll set this to 100 opacity, move to zero. Okay, it's original spot. Last thing, button. Let's go to move, just rinse and repeat, opacity. So yeah, staggered uh, load is not like the most fun thing, but it has, it, it looks so pretty, okay? Duplicate, drag this in there. And let's go back with the move going back to zero with this initial spot, 100%. And cool, we're almost done. Now, they all load at the same time. If I press publish, or actually, you know, if I, if I preview, they all load at the same time. I need a, a staggered effect, plus I need some sort of easing. So what I can do is um, hold... Uh, click on the next step and then hold shift and press the last one and there we go all four of these are selected I can set a delay to let's go 0.25 which is half of 0.5 all right so there we go and now I can do the same thing select these two and the delay is going to be 0.5 because I'm going by 0.25 and another 0.25 so at 50 and so if I preview staggered cool let's make it a little bit faster so let me fix this real quick i'm gonna go 0.1 and this one's gonna be 0.2 so as you can see i can make sweeping changes to multiple things okay so now that interaction is happening let's go ahead and add some easing and what you can do is again select all of them top and then hold shift and hit the bottom and then i can do easing and we'll do um We'll do out court, okay, and we'll preview, and there we go. So yeah, quick video, uh, hope this helps. It's just how to create um, staggered effects much faster than just clicking each little thing. You can hold command to select m multiple, and you can set multiple um, easing to all of them. So yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but yeah, pro tip, hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any feedback for this video, leave it in the Slack channel. The channel is hashtag feedback. Thank you all so much. And as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.